y'all welcome back to my channel taylor one here where i talk about my life as a beauty queen as a wife and as a mama y'all today is july 3rd wednesday july 3rd blair and i get ready for story time it's probably like a little after nine story time is at 10 and it's at our local library literally like three minutes from my house so we're gonna do story time um from 10 to 11 then we're gonna come back home i'm gonna prep lunch and i work from noon to six so Gloria will be running around the house playing with her toys. She's having her cartoon time, living her best life on her iPad. Yesterday we went to um, the splash pad and she came home and crashed um, for like four hours and she didn't get to watch any of her shows. So this morning that was the first thing that she wanted to do. Um, so I'm getting ready to just put a little bit of makeup on my face because y'all, I don't know what it is, but one of uh, my sister queen, Shamir Nicole, she has a YouTube channel on here. Um, y'all check her out. I'll try to like link her channel in the description box if I remember to do so. But she's starting this series of like self-care and things that happen to you like once you turn 30 or whatever. And none of the things in the video were happening to me, started happening to me until after I watched her video. So she was just saying like how your body changes and everything when you're 30. I am getting like, I, I've i always had an issue with acne. Um, like I hit skin puberty like really, really early. Like I was getting acne in like fifth grade. But the good thing about it is when I got to high school, I was done with it and my skin has kind of like leveled out since then. I do have like a big problem with like scarring, um, but I'm getting like 30 year old acne now. I've been getting like more chin hairs. My skin has just been acting crazy. Um, and I've been drinking my water. I've been detoxing. I mask. I do a hydration mask and a detox mask once a week so i don't know what it is y'all um blair and i have also been outside a lot because it's summer um so i've been getting like mosquito bites on my face me and blair i will like douse us in deep from like the neck down and the mosquitoes will still bite our face but i um i felt this one big chin hair on my chin last night and i just got it and then I have a few more whiskers on here. But hair's just been popping up all over the place. And Shamir said that what happened. Um, I'm just going to put a little powder on my face today because I am just going through it. Um, and like, I don't know if y'all can see, like I had this hyperpigmentation scarring and everything here from like pimples and bug bites. And it just like gives me like a shadow that I'm not about. Um... So yeah, so I'm gonna do that. But I really need to go and get a dermaplaning treatment because I feel like that's the only thing that's gonna solve this and make me feel better. Um, so yeah, I need to do that. Um, this morning, Blair and I woke up, got her dressed and situated. I got dressed and situated. I had to do some Shein reviews um, because I wanna get points on my next order. Um, Corey paid for my peer bar membership for this month for July, so I scheduled those classes for the month. I actually need to see if my mom can come and watch Blair one day during the week because I have a credit from last month that I didn't use, and all of the weekend classes I got all the weekend classes that I was able to get, and then the rest of them are full. So I need to see if my mom can watch Blair and I'll take class. Y'all, talking and like doing stuff at the same time is very difficult for me. So I'm sorry if, I, if it seems like I'm talking slower than normal because I am. Um, two things that I wanted to update y'all on. Well, a few things. So Giovanni, egg donation, and then work. So with the Giovanni casting. So I already went to one casting. And if I remember correctly, when I first inquired about this on the website, they said that the Giovanni It Girls and the Giovanni Elite Girls would be announced on July 21st, right? I already took off work for March, July 28th through August 2nd, just in case I do make it in that time. It's already gotten approved. So, yay for that. Now, literally last week, 
there are more and more casting popping up and the date that they said that they were going to announce the finalists the 21st there's a casting on that day here in Atlanta um, at Fit for a Queen. There's also a casting on the 13th that I'm gonna go to as well um, at Beauty Queens Galore because it's here in Fayetteville. I'm literally like five minutes from there. Um, and I'd rather do that than drive out to the city. It really doesn't matter because they're only accepting one entry per um, email address. But I figured it would still just like be fun to go and they can consider whichever one I guess they feel is the best one or whichever one comes first because remember y'all I already went to a casting in Alpharetta um at Stacy's and that originally was the only one did it they were doing um in Atlanta and then the one at Fit for Queen and Beauty Queens Galore just got announced last week so I'm trying to figure out when they're going to announce the semi-finalists and this is a, a part of my life where I get very type A. It's not just about me being a mom or a wife and people will say, oh, well, this is why, you know, moms and wives, their experiences are limited in pageantry because they don't have time and they can't do things last minute. No one should be doing things last minute. Everyone should be, everyone's time should be considered. And when you're planning something, when you're inviting people to something, whether you're a host or a business owner, I feel like you need to give people proper notice. I hate when, I hate in the pageant, generally I hate this, but I really hate it in the pageant world where people decide to put on an event two or three days beforehand and expect people to come out just because of their name or their title or who they work with or who they associate or whatever like consider people's time give people proper notice and i still want this giovanni opportunity really bad but and i'm glad that i have the like foresight to think ahead and already take off work for it so it won't be an issue for me if i do make it but if they announce the semi-finalists after the 21st I feel like that's just inconsiderate of people's time <laughs> um so yeah but y'all yeah, I just put some powder on I also put some mascara on yeah I just feel like that's inconsiderate of people's time and now no one knows when the semi-finalists are getting announced because at first on the website it said the 21st but now it's not up there anymore and I asked the owner of Beauty Queens Galore if she could find out for me on um monday so i need to follow up with her today and see if she knows because like that's gonna involve traveling taking off work taking off school for people and i mean luckily i already have things in place i've already taken off work i've already gotten um things situated for blair Corey is just gonna put in time and he's gonna have a uh fun week with her but everyone doesn't think like that and I feel like dates like that need to be um communicated up front so people know how they need to arrange their lives and their work schedules and their school schedules and all that kind of stuff it also makes me wonder because they keep having more castings maybe they're not finding what they're looking for or maybe the turnout isn't as high as they expected it would be um it's just very interesting but all in all i'm gonna i'm going to go to the casting at beauty queens galore because they're close to me i like that store um and it would just you know be fun to do again so that's that um egg donation so my july cycle started yesterday i'm on day two of my period yesterday was awful yeah i don't know just as i'm getting older the first the first day of my period has always been the hardest but as i'm getting older it's getting like more and more unbearable <laughs> um and i had the heating pad on and, and everything yesterday so i start birth control on thursday i already have it up here on my counter so i don't forget so i start taking my birth control on Thursday, I'll probably be on it for about a week or two, and then I'll get the instructions for my injection. So I'll continue to keep y'all updated on that. Um, I need to figure out what 
I'm gonna put on my lips. Y'all, I've had this. This is actually a black eyeliner that I use for lip liner. And I have, are you okay? And I've literally had it probably since 2016. And I have this lip gloss up here that I've been trying to use. Here you go. And I just have, I feel like I still have so much makeup and I'm really trying to be intentional with using it. Um, before summer, I was wearing a little bit of makeup every day. Obviously not doing that right now because it's too hot. Um, but today we're going to be inside most of the time. So I'm going to do that. Um, I think I'm done. Also, y'all, I use rose water as my setting spray. I know y'all like to use Urban Decay, Studio Fix Plus, whatever the hotness is right now. Studio Fix Plus and Urban Decay is what was hot when I was younger um but right now i use rose water and it's been working really good for me and y'all know i like multi-use stuff rose water i use it in our hair i use it as a setting spray so i'm almost out i need to get some more yeah it's spotting i definitely need to get more um so yeah so what was next work so all right, yeah, I just told y'all about egg donation. So, you all updated on that. Oh, I need to put this away. Oh, no. Okay. All of my trays kind of came out of a palette. Oh! Okay. Y'all, I'm so clumsy. Okay. So for work, so I got my weekend schedule approved. So I'm now on the, well, it starts in August. So I have like three more weeks on this, the summer schedule that I'm currently on. And then in August, um, I'll switch to the weekend schedule and then Blair starts school um, at the end of August, preschool starts back. So the schedule that they have me on is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Now, originally I wanted, I currently work 30 hours and originally I wanted for this weekend schedule to go up to 34 but they were unable to do that for me. They said for the weekend schedule they can only accommodate either part-time at 28 hours or full-time at 40 hours. I'm not ready to do 40 hours especially with us possibly trying to have another baby. Um, so I'm saying for, I'm saying part-time that does mean that I lost two hours so I'm a little bummed about that but God be working. Let me tell y'all. So for my weekend schedule that's going to start in um, August, the schedule that they have me on is Fridays 9 to 6, Saturdays 9 to 4.30, Sundays 9 to 4, and then on um, Mondays, I'll drop Blair off at school at 9.00. Um, her school is like five minutes away. I'll come back and work 9 30 to 12 30, clock out to go pick her up by one. We'll be back home and then I'll clock in again from two to six. Um, which I'm totally fine with. I like how that looks. Um, so that's the schedule that I had me on. Now, yes, so there is a family that I nannied for last summer before I started this job um, that live in our area. And they've always said, and I and I babysit for them like every now and then, like on the weekends. Um, actually, this week, yesterday, and tomorrow morning, um, Blair and I will be hanging out with him. We took him to the splash pad with us yesterday, and then tomorrow um, morning, I'm gonna be working before I clock in at two. We're gonna go to the zoo. So yesterday and tomorrow, I've had him from like eight to twelve, and then we come back home um, to for me to work at two. And they have been asking me, like, let us know if you have more availability. Like, we would, you know, love to have you more part-time. So, now with this weekend schedule that I'll be on for work starting in August, I'll be off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, although my income will be decreasing with the loss of those two hours, 
it can increase if I pick up like eight more hours during the, during the week with this particular family. Um, and that would actually put me at like the $500 a week mark that I was hoping to reach as like a stay at home mom who works from home part time. Um, and I really enjoy this family because they're totally cool with Blair coming to work with me and everything. And that would still give me at least one day a week off to like myself. And then it's probably even going to be more relaxed than I'm anticipating that I'm thinking it would be because on my Saturday and Sunday, I won't be on the phones. So I'll really just be doing emails. And then on Friday and Monday, I'll be back and forth from emails to phone based on the need at work. Um, and then all in all, I'll be working um, two less hours than I normally do. So I'm hoping that it will all like work out in my favor. And I, I'm... I think it's really important to do a good job in any work that you do because you never know what that relationship could turn into later in life or if that income will be re-present re itself later in life to you. Um, and I think that's why it's just good to like not burn bridges because you never know um, what you'll need who you'll need and when you'll need it so and i really enjoy being a nanny i be trying to get away from it y'all i really do um and there's just I, I just know for me that's a skill that i can always fall back on is taking care of those kids um and because we are trying to grow our family this is probably something that i will do like through the end of the year maybe january or February like depending on when our due date would be we would be like if we got pregnant this fall we would probably be anticipating like a May baby at the earliest so we'll see but this would be like good income for the next couple of months for us to save um for like this next baby if if we have them so yeah I just wanted to give you all those updates I'm just happy I got the weekend schedule because now I just have more time for my family. Now I have more time for Blair. And with the emails, I can do so much because I'm not on the phone. I can, you know, do half of my quota, read a book with her, do half of my quota, play some games, do half of my quota, snuggle with her, all kinds of things. It just gives me more flexibility. Um, so I'm really grateful and excited about that. And obviously August will be here before we know it. It's July 3rd right now, but August will be here before we know it. And I'll be able to switch that schedule. So um I'm very happy about that and then we'll see what happens with this possible additional income from um the family that I could possibly be going back to work for and I know $500 a week is not a lot um it's probably not a lot to some people but that's my goal and my contribution that I am hoping to be able to make to my family as a stay-at-home mom and when you are a stay-at-home mom when you no longer work full time i feel like anything like 200 dollars and above is like a good chunk of change um and it just depends on your on your household and right now we live off of what we need and a little bit of what we want and we try to be conscious financially and make good decisions we have a roof over our head we have food in our fridge we have clothes in our back our baby is happy and healthy and that's what really matters. And then one day as our income increases, we'll be able to do more and still steward well over it um, because we'll remember where we came from <laughs> um, and what things were like when we first started. Um, so yeah, y'all, I just wanted to give y'all those updates and it's probably time for us to get ready to go to story time, but I'm just so thankful. I'm thankful that things are moving forward with my egg donation. I'm a little confused about what's going on with these Giovanni days, but I still want the opportunity and I'm still excited to go to the casting. And I'm just very, very grateful and thankful for my job and my supervisor watching for me to get this schedule and that it worked out and that, you know, I'll be off. I'll have a, a three day weekend now. Um, and yeah. I'm grateful. I'm just grateful that I have more time for my family while still being able to contribute something um, financially. So, yes, thank y'all for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and I will keep y'all updated on everything that's happening. <laughs>